Hey everyone, it's Ben from Faggots Play Games. How's it going, Ben? Uh, it's all right. What did you do with your deck today? Uh, I went to day two YCS Sydney and um, I did all right. Playing yeah. Mech Knight Invoked. Mech Knight Invoked, what a legend. Tell me, how many Mech Knight Invokes were in top 64? One. One. <laughs> and it was me. What, what a champ, representing the Mech Knight Invoked community. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Uh, so start off, I played uh, eight Alistar. You want to face them? Yeah, yeah. So I play eight Alistar. Oh no, uh, seven Alistar. So three Alistars, two terraforming, and two meltdown. Um, the reason why I chose two, uh, two terraforming and two magical meltdown is because I can like set my stuff with in like I can set this and then uh, line up columns rather than just playing three of this and then one of this. Mm, you also get the spells in for the uh, strikers cards, eh? <laughs> So yeah, uh, seven Alistar, um, two Invocation, and then one Book of the Law. Yeah. Ever feel like you wanted a third Invocation? So no. hard draw when they always ash no. your uh, Alistar? Like, like, if this just gets ashed, you usually just go into um, like the Madness. So you usually just go into this guy and like, because I play like Instant Fusion, you can like Instant Fusion and Brilliant Fusion, you can just like summon them here and then like discard a card, search an invocation. So like I found just playing two is fine. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, so Mech Knights, I play a main three, Blue Sky, two Nightfall, and one Indigo. Um, I was testing this with just one Red Moon. Um, the reason why, because like Red Moon, you can usually just like if you open Red Moon, he can just go here and like you can put him in defense, making him 26 body, uh, like booty. Um, but why didn't uh, you play him then? Uh, because there'll be some weird matchups where people only go like, like only leave you enough with one column. So like if you go Blue Sky Search two, or like you go this guy Search one. Um, like it's it's just a little bit better, but um, if you want, you can just change this out for um, Red Moon, um, link okay. away, and then just banish. So um, why did you play um, two purple nightfall and not three? Uh, you play um, the reason why I see a lot of people playing three purple nightfall and then two blue. I don't know why they play that because if you're playing like an OTK deck. You should be just trying to link away as much as you can. These things you link away, or these ones you like banish to search. And um, what was happening a lot today, people were like ogreing this, they'd ogre this and then it just died and you don't get the search anyway, so yeah. So ogre was relevant over the weekend you'd say? Yeah, yeah. When it, whenever I put this on the field and I go like end phase effect, they go ogre on that. Correct. If they survive. Uh, and then brilliant fusion, so I play three brilliant fusion, one snow, and then one garnet. Um, it was mainly Burden that told me to play uh, Fairytale Snow. I was playing um, Damage Juggler, so I could like uh, instead just link it away straight away. But we found that just the, that extra 18 damage is really like 1850 damage is really beneficial. And how was it when you drew the snow though? Uh, like when I drew it, it was fine. I just like Book of the Moon something. Like I, I wish it, most of the time I wish it was Alistar. But a lot of the time when I was opening it, I actually was opening it with Brilliant Fusion, so I just dump a Mech Knight instead. Um, and then like I can normal summon this Book of the Moon something like, let's say... Yeah, I just got it for the after link. Yeah, yeah, and then like, like you know, you can Book of the Moon a, um, like a Colossus. So yeah, that's that. Um, hand Traps. Three Veiler. Um, if I had Impermanence, I still wouldn't play him. You need the Light Target, and it is a level 1, so you can go into um, Link Karibo. How often did you summon Link Karibo this weekend? Uh, probably every game. Like every game that I, I Wait, could. What? Yeah. But you summoned Effect Veiler. Oh, wait, no, no, that's but, right. Like, yeah, I've got other things that go into it. Oh, so, okay, right. three Ash because it's Ash, yeah, and then three Ogre. Um, I'm, I'm siding Droll because Droll was really good against like Sky Striker matchups, but um, this usually just hits the, um, the multi roll and just stupid shit. The, the thing that came worse in the day, I think, was mainly Effect Veiler. If I, if I could just change it, Effect Veiler for maybe another hand trap, like if Bell, if I had Bells, they'd be Bells, but other than that. Even if it reduces the light uh, monsters? Like, choose? usually, you got Mech Knights, they're fine. And, like, if, if it comes down to it, if you got Brilliant Fusion, like, this thing at the end of the day is a light target, so. Um, and then three Gamma Seal, which. I like a lot of people were yelling at me about playing like let's say just like three Gamma Seal and then one um, uh, Kamungus like sticky strings. 
but um, so you didn't play against the Paleo player, they made it to top cut. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was sitting next to him, but um, like I find three Gamma Steel fine. You can play four, but there was a game where four I Gamma Steel, yeah, <laughs> like four card use, but um, I found it just opening multiples is just really bad. It's just something you just meant to like destroy something on their field, like a Colossus or something, and that's it. You don't want to open multiples. Uh, spells, I play three Instant Fusion, three Twin, and then one Hornet Drones for the one card Alistar. Um, and the targets for your, uh, Instant Fusion are your Raijin, and then one Thousand Eyes. This card came in clutch so much today. Take the Strike Link, can't huh? summon Ray. Yeah, yeah. Um, what? If you take the striker link, yeah, 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 exactly. They yeah. can't summon Ray when it leaves the field. Yeah, exactly. But mainly for like, um, I was stealing people's uh, what are they called? Colossus. I was stealing a lot of people's like my own kaiju's back and everything, and it just like sets up columns for your mech knights. So. And then uh, when you like hard draw and you don't see an Alistar, you can like summon something, go. Um, Raijin, and then like if you have to you can link it away and then like link it away into this thing and then um, if you have another way to fusion again you can like yeah I don't know okay uh, we'll go extra deck so sorry give me a sec so yeah one link rebo for the um, for the thousand eyes and then for your effect failures. One Kigari. So that's it for the level one uh, uh, link ones. For link twos, one Alistar, one Phoenix. I didn't need Cerberus. Like fair, there were a lot of games where it's like, oh, I wish I could just kill a Titan or something with it. But didn't like underclock or a second invoker. Just doesn't fit it, and if you shouldn't be playing a second invoker because you may, you're playing an OTK deck. Um, you're not really grinding out games, and if you're forced to grind out, you usually just sit on your like all your mech knight stuff or just one big mecha bar. Um, Unicorn, I went in this once the entire weekend, so if anything, if I had to cut anything, I'd probably be Unicorn. Um, and then Decode, which I went into a lot. The, Makes the extra damage easy. Yeah, like um, you go like there's a lot of hands where you can just end up with Decode Talker. And then like uh, Mega Lenica, and then just something here, then something there. So this thing just pushes for so much extra damage, especially if you put like the, uh, your Kaiju in the same column. It's just an extra 50 damage, uh, 500 damage. Um, well, minus 2200 from that damage. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and that's it for the Link Threes, Link Fours. So Yuja and Boral. Uh, Borolo Dragon. Um, I don't have Boral Sword, but if I had Boral Sword, it probably would have been taken over by this slot rather than this slot. Because a lot of the times, um, if I open Garnet, I can just shuffle Garnet back with this if I have a decent hand for it. So, so have, did you ever make Saruja yeah, just out the Brilliant Fusion to put the Garnet back so yeah. you could use the Brilliant Fusion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I did it twice on the, um, on the weekend. Neato. And that's it for the Link Force. Uh, and then you've got your two Mechaba, one Magdalenica, one Purgatrio, and then one Raijin. Um, I didn't play Coctius, I didn't like Coctius, even though I'm like... Cocytus. No, Cocytus. Um, and the other ones are shit. And I was contemplating on playing Elysium, because you can like link away... Like you can link away this, and then use something else that you've like... Like, let's say, um, anything else, and you can just banish this and, like, another extra deck monster and bring out Elysium. But I really didn't need to, because that thing's just a th uh, 30k anyways, and that's more than enough. 30k. Mm. Okay. 3k. And then, of course, your Thousand Eyes, and then Seraphina. Okay. Show us the side deck. Show us the goodies, the uh, tech. So, three Droll, three Lancia. Drolls are like pretty standard, Sky Strikers, uh, random jank and shit. I, I was mainly just citing this a lot. Um, Lancia, I cited mainly against Rongo decks. And um, what was the other ones? Uh, Thunder Dragon? Yeah, Thunder Dragon. So they couldn't just overextend on turns. Um, Did it help with Thunder Dragons? No. They just, just grind it out a little bit harder. And they know that they're already versing you going second deck, so if they're grinding, then yeah. 
Oh, well. Referring. Um, and then three called by the grave, which I'd rarely sided in. It was only like against Trickstar, which is the matchups like that are lost against, where this thing came relevant. So I could like banish their draw, but never really came up. So two mind control. Um, I wouldn't be playing the third, and I don't like playing it in main because it's just like it technically is a dead card, especially if they make you go first. If you're going like against a going first deck. Um, and like most Thunder Dragons, they'll end up with like double Colossus and then Titan. So, like, this thing only removes one. And I know Instant Fusion is kind of like a way to remove as well. But at least Instant Fusion, you're extending your play still. Um, while this is just stealing it, and then that's it. Um, two Reboot for Alter Geist that are never versed. Um, one Duster, and because I panicked to do my, uh, my deck list, I only had. One extra trap, which was wiretap. Uh, what was that supposed to be? Uh, main, it, like it should have just been an extra duster. But um, if I was smart enough, I would have just made these two scapegoats. Um, and the reason why is uh, if you're forced to go second against a going, uh, if you're first forced to go first against a going second deck, you can easily just put down two scapegoat and then just end up with Borrelate. And hope they don't Purgatory you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And that's it for the deck. Yeah, right. Any uh, ending notes? Any honourable uh, mentions? Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Luke Campisi. He actually... <laughs> no, Luke did help out a lot. Um, and Burden kind of whipped me into shape to actually start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. So, and thanks for Dylan for coming along and, you know, helping me out. G giving you shit? <laughs> yeah, giving me shit all weekend. <laughs> for losing your matchups, I probably shouldn't have, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. it for the deck profile. I'll see you in the next one.